Uh, hello? I I'm Michael. I'm, I'm subletting the apartment. So how's Tel Aviv? It's a kind of a strange mixture. I'm not sure I can figure it out. Who is that? My landlord. Oh my God, he's hot. Oh, stop. He could be his dad. But I'm not. <laughs> so what's the plan? I write a column for the New York Times, The Intrepid Traveler. Let's turn it down a little bit. It's just a name, though. So you're not really intrepid? I try to be. I have a list. All those the must-sees? Yeah. If you are a Jewish princess on her birthright tour, yeah. Come. I will show you the best pomegranate juice in Tel Aviv. Do you have small change, maybe? So you wrote a book once. What was it about? New York City in the late 80s, early 90s. It's so depressing. Why does everything always has to go back to that? Well, I didn't go back. I was there. I sort of wrote the book in real time. I'll be your home, I'll be your country, I'll be your northern star. Maybe you could show me around the city. I'll be your landscape. Israelis really try to be nice to tourists. They want to feed you. They want to tell you stories. Do I have children? We did try, my husband and I. Everything is possible now. I'm not so sure about that. You and David, you still have sex? We do occasionally have sex. Occasionally. Wow. I really don't get this. How is that any way to meet somebody? A quick way. No drama. <laughs> I hate to be the guy who says when I was your age. <laughs> <laughs> don't think it's too late for you. The idea is to see how much I can discover about a city. I'll be the note that holds the cord. I'll be a symphony. And what did you discover about Tel Aviv? It's unlike any other place I've visited. 